Okay, so we're going to resolve another vector, but now the vector has a negative y component and is pointing also negative in the x direction. And what we can do is use the angle drawn, in this case we've got 12 degrees drawn, and what we can do is recognize the positive or neg dire negative directions of the components with respect to the coordinate axes. However, we do have another method we can use if we choose to measure our angle, not as the 12 degrees shown, but as measured anti-clockwise from the x-axis. And I'm going to draw that now. So anti-clockwise all the way around from the x-axis to where the vector is pointing. And now this is 180 degrees plus the 12 degrees is 192 degrees is the angle all the way around from the x-axis. And you may remember there's some laws about trig functions. And it was C A S T. So cos. All the cosines are positive in this quadrant if that's where the vector is. All all trig functions are positive if you've got a a vector in that points in this quadrant. Sine and tan. Okay, so now <coughs> we'll get positive tan because we're in this cot quadrant and what we'll use then is using this cast system is we'll use the 192 degrees directly to take care of the minus sign rather than us having to recognize it directly so we're going to write down the equations using Sokotoa so our x component of our force is equal to 200 times the cos of 192 degrees. Now this time we always use the cos for the x direction. And you put this into your calculator and you'll get for the fx equals minus 195.6 newtons. And looking at our picture, we know that it's going in the negative direction, in the x, negative x direction. So that seems correct. We do exactly the same for the y direction. And we always use the sign for the y direction when using the angle measured positive anti-clockwise from the x axis. So 192 degrees. So we have 200 times the sign of 192 degrees equals and you put this into your calculator and it automatically comes out with minus 41.6 and then we're in units of newtons and again looking back at our picture that we drew right at the start we can see that it's pointing downwards in the y direction so we know that it's going to be a negative number